just melted a little, y'all. That was so cute. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back, or should I say, like, thank you for having me back. My name is Nicolette, and we are here because we have done Back to the Future. We have done Back to the Future 2, and I'm just so excited for Back to the Future 3. I need to know, I need to further Doc and Marty's relationship. I need to know what happens. I need to know if Jennifer ever got, like, okay, because they kept leaving her places in number two, and honestly, I was a little concerned. We'll see if they fix that in number three. Y'all... I am so, so stoked. We're gonna jump into it. Just a little reminder to hit that bell to be notified of all of the latest reactions. Definitely follow us on Instagram for the behind the scenes, early access, all that good stuff. And if you want to follow along with the full watch along, obviously go over to our Patreon where you will be able to see all of our full length reactions. It's also a really, really great way to support the channel. If you want to see more of us, more of me, uh, we have polls. You can vote on what you want us to watch. It's a really, really cool way to get involved. All right, y'all, I can barely contain my excitement. We're dialing in. We're officially up for the ride. Bring on the DeLorean. Bring on the future. We're going back right now. Oh, I love the old black and white. It always gives me like Casablanca vibes. Makes me very happy. Stevie, my boy, back for round three. Bobby Z. <laughs> okay, yes, I remember this from the sequel. Okay, okay, we're dialed in, we're dialed in. Okay, this is more the first one vibes. Doc gets, that's, the original Doc is back in the, in the Wild West, cause he finally got to go. <laughs> what a lovely happy dance. More people should happy dance in movies. This is great. And there we go, we got future, future past Marty. Just sent you back to the future. Oh, I know. He did send me back to the future. I'm back from the future. Oh. I'm gonna start saying this in everyday life. What a great catchphrase. Back to the future. Three. Back from the future. Personally, I'm a fan. I like it. It's like if Stephen King owned something on uh, Sicily. I'm gonna have to say, I don't buy that Marty could carry Doc's limp body. I don't think he has that strength. I love Marty to death. He doesn't strike me as like the fireman carry athlete type. I'm sorry, I don't buy that. I buy the future stuff, just not that. The hoverboard, he sells the hoverboard, oh. God bless 2012, 2015, whatever they were, the year they were in. Wait, this was some sort of attack image. Ah! <laughs> you can't be here! It doesn't make sense for you to be here! I refuse to believe that you are here! Look, I came back to 1955 again with you, the you from 1985, because we had to get a book from Biff. So once I got a book back, you, that is the you from 1985, we're in the DeLorean and it got struck by lightning and you got sent back to 1885. Excellent recap, Marty. Excellent. It's a very interesting story, future boy, but it's just one little thing that doesn't make sense. What's that? If the me of the future is now in the past, how could you possibly know about it? You sent me a letter. Who? Received this letter immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. Activated the flux capacitor and sent me back to 1885. The overload shorted out the time circuits and destroyed the flying circuits. Unfortunately, the car will never fly again. It actually flew. Yeah, we well, had a hover conversion done in the early 21st century. Incredible. <laughs> I attempted to repair the damage to the time circuits. Unfortunately, this proved impossible because suitable replacement parts will not be invented until 1947. That I buy. 
I've gotten quite adept at shoeing horses and fixing wagons. Nice. Preserved and preserved until you uncover it in 1955. Inside, you will find repair instructions. Hmm. Should have no problem repairing it so that you can drive it back to the future. Once you have returned to 1985, destroy the time machine. Ooh. And please take care of Einstein for me. That's so pure. It's your dog, Doc. <coughs> Einstein. It's what you call your dog in 1985. I adore that. You've been a good, kind, and loyal friend to me. Warm feelings and a special place in my heart. Aww. Einstein, you miss your bud. We may have to blast. Fun. I don't know if I would have put the arrow there. Like, I feel like someone in the last century would have seen that arrow. I'm like, huh, maybe I should dig here for something cool. That's what I would have done. I, I like digging in things. I don't know. It's been buried here for 70 years, two months, and 13 days. The lightning bolt shorted out the time circuit control microchip. Sure, sure. No wonder the circuit failed. It's made in Japan. <laughs> wow, shots fired. All that stuff is made in Japan. Unbelievable. Oh, it's funny because he's in 1955. Marcus, come on, let's go home, boy. Oh, is Doc buried there? Oh, Doc's totally on, buried there. Dogs always know. Marty, you can't read? Thank you. Doc! Doc! Okay, September 7th. What was the year? What's wrong, Marty? 1880. Oh. You've seen a ghost. You're not far off, Doc. Shot in the... That's a very descriptive headstone. Guess what we kept you off the letter. The rest of it. I don't have my beloved Clara. Who the hell is Clara? Marty, please don't stand there. Oh, right. Sorry. Fair. This is what we want to commemorate? But Buford Tannen, for a matter of $80... That was a lot back then. Buford Tannen was a notorious gunman whose short temper and a tendency to drool Earned him the nickname Mad Dog. <laughs> William McFly and family. Your relatives? My great grandfather's name was William. It was still McFly. Oh. It's me. All of it. Two days before your shot. It's not gonna happen, Doc. We fixed the time circuits and put new tires on the DeLorean. I'm going back to 18. And I'm bringing you home. We are going to ignore all the ingredients, like all of the directions that the letter said. Forget that new plan. Let's go. We knew it was going to happen, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, that it's at least motivated by something more. I've never seen a Western. Huh? Yeah, I have, Doc. So Clint Eastwood never wore anything like this. <laughs> Why did we go with this color palette? It's the red pants and the red boots for me. What about that cloning device? Hoverboard. All right. That's okay, but we're worried about the tennis shoes. I wrote the letter on September 1st, so we'll send you back the very next day, September 2nd. That's a Wednesday, September 2nd, 1885, 8 a.m. We got five days, Marty. If I drive straight towards the screen, I'm going to crash into those Indians. Natives, Native Americans. They're going to be transported to 1885, and those Indians won't even be there. Right. Are they going to be real Native Americans? Is that going to be the joke later on? Let's find out. This would be a fun ride. Did amusement park ever made this a ride? Someone let me know in the comments if this is a ride somewhere. Love that call. Love that I called that. Native Americans, Marty. They're being very chill about this random car that just appeared in front of them. Marty, why didn't you just go in the opposite direction? You had so many options besides just going in front of them. Shit, the cavalry! <laughs> there goes the shoes. Yeah, even the bear's like, uh, I wouldn't have chosen these. Maggie! Oh. Some water. We got a hard on here. Oh my gosh, it's his ancestor. You've been asleep for nearly six hours. I love that they brought her back for this role. Maggie. And that 
Mrs. McFly, and don't you be forgetting the missus. That's right, you be polite. Oh, is his mom gonna be like attracted to him again in this one? Is it a, like a process century kind of thing? Liam Sean McFly, the first of our family to be born in America. This here is Mr. Clint Eastwood here visiting. Sure, and he likes you, Mr. Eastwood. I didn't know Clint Eastwood was uh, related to Calvin Klein. Seamus, mm. a word with you. Hi. Someone got in trouble. You're my great grandfather. First McFly born in America. Aw. There it is. Leaving your mark, kid. Okay, horses. So he's good at shoeing horses. So if you ask someone who owns a horse, he probably knows where the locksmith is. Ooh, ooh! Clock tower. Ha! <laughs> That's fun. That's a fun detail. You're gonna hang him and you're gonna call him stinky? That's not nice. I'm trying to find the blacksmith. Hey, McFly! Thought I just told you never to come in. Please tell. Unbelievable. I'm looking for that no good cheating blacksmith. You seen him, Mr. Tanner, and I have not. You're mad, Dog Tanner. Yeah, you should have guessed that. Anyone who looks like Biff's gonna be the bad guy. I don't think people call him that to his face. I hate it. You hear? Nobody calls me mad dog. Just apologize. Yeah. On, this man. is a place of business. <laughs> Did Marty just invent the moonwalk? Shit. Nit. Oh, that was upsetting. I hated that so much. Oh, he definitely has a concussion. We're all casually just gonna watch this in, in town square. No one has any thoughts. Oh, Doc. Good intro. Nice. The way I figure it, Blacksmith, you owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. The f If your horse threw a shoe, Bring him back and I'll re him. And don't shot that horse. Well, that's your problem, Tannen. That seems like an unnecessary reaction. You better be looking behind you when you walk, because one day you're going to get a bullet in your back. It's very, uh, it's a lot of exposition for what we know happens, but all right, I'll, I'll follow along. I gave you explicit instructions not to come here, but to go directly back to 1985. But, Doc. I had to come. But it's good to see you, Marty. Oh, I love their friendship, y'all. This makes me so happy. That's this Monday. And who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named Clara. Eyebrows, eyebrows. Remember last week at the town meeting when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher at the station when you came in? Clara! Her name's Miss Clayton. Clara Clayton. Great Scott. Get it, Doc. Now we know Clara is. Yeah, we do. That's the way it was me and Jennifer. Mm -hmm. I mean, we couldn't give our eyes off each other. That's very sweet, Marty. God, Jennifer, damn, I hope she's all right, Doc. I can't believe we just left her there on the porch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you burned the almanac in 1955, the normal timeline was restored. That means once we're back in 1985, you just have to go over the house and wake her up. <laughs> Still shouldn't have left her there. I guess Miss Clayton will have to find other transportation. I never meet the woman, there's no possibility of a romantic infatuation, right? You're the doc, doc. Oh, Doc, you can't stop love. Everyone knows that. We're well, on the gas tank when I was landing, so we're gonna have to patch it up and get some gas. With what, Marty? Using power from prime circuits on the flux capacitor. Well, the internal combustion engine runs on ordinary gasoline. There'll be a gas station around here until sometime in the next set. Yes, we can get the DeLorean up to 80. You better settle in to the, to the 1800s, bud. Oh, these poor horses. 24! 24! Oh, it's so much slower. Bartender says that's the strongest stuff they got. What happens if you were actually to do that in a car? Like, that can't be good for the car. I was right. Through the fuel injection manifold. Strong stuff, all right. It'll take me a month to rebuild it. You got five days, Doc. 
If we could figure out a way to push it up to 88 miles an hour. Huh? Can you go down like a one of those canyons? Would that work? Ooh. If you had a straight stretch of track with a level grade and you weren't hauling no cars behind you, and if you could get the fire hot talking about hotter than the blazes of hell and damnation itself, then yeah, sure it might be possible. You say damnation that. instead of damnation? <laughs> This spur that runs off the main line three miles out to Clayton Ravine. It's a long stretch of level track that will still exist in 1985. This is where we'll push the DeLorean with the locomotive. Love that. Don't you see? The bridge will exist in 1985. It's safe and still in use. So if you Therefore, can get it, the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour, you'll land on it. Okay. We'll instantaneously arrive at a point in time where the bridge is completed. We'll have track under us and coast safely across the ravine. Maybe a bummer if you got it to like 87. Clara. Yeah, Doc, you should have picked her up. Because you can't stop love. Woo! Oh, all your things. Wow, that's just so inconvenient. Let's see her. Thank you, sir. You saved me. Oh my gosh! I love her. Only Brown at your service, Miss. Um, Clara. Clara Clayton. Clara. What a beautiful name. My heart just melted a little, y'all. That was so cute. <laughs> oh. Ma Marty. Good luck to the schools each and every year. Let love happen. I'm almost glad that snake spooked those horses. Otherwise, we might never have met. Yeah, you would have. Thank you for everything. You're quite welcome. That's right. Good. Leave him wanting more, Clara. Leave him wanting more. I will see you again, won't I? She can't help it. After all, Miss Clayton almost ended up at the bottom of Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine was named after a teacher. They say she fell in there years ago. Years ago? That's this year. The kid in school knows that story because we all have teachers we like to see fall into the ravine. It's not going to be called. That she was supposed to go over in that wagon. And now I may have seriously altered history. Good. Think you might get a happy ending. I wish I'd never invented that infernal time machine. Caused nothing but disaster. Caused three pretty good movies. Throw the switch track and then we'll hijack, borrow the locomotive and use it to push the time machine. Moral gray area. Point of no return. That's our fail-safe point. Up until there, we still have enough time to stop the locomotive before it plunges into the... Once we pass this windmill, it's the future or bust. Hmm. Machine the DeLorean! Up to 88 miles per hour! It's gonna have to go a lot faster. This is quite a Should surprise. Should bring a telescope or something? Well, I hope I'm not disturbing... Microscope? When was the microscope invented? The telescope was damaged, and... Since you mentioned an interest in science, I thought you might be able to repair it for me. If you turn it the other way. Everything becomes clear. <clears throat> Marty, be cool. Tonight's the town festival. Well, actually, ma'am, yes, I don't think I'm getting Of course, the festival. I'll see you this evening at the festival, Emmett. Mr. Eastwood. Ma'am. <laughs> Emmett, this strange boy you team to be with. It gives me great pleasure to dedicate this clock to the people of Hill County. May it stand for all time. Oh, bro. Little anticlimactic, but sure. Ooh, that's fun. I feel like that should have been at the one. Ready, gentlemen? It's going to be in the archive. Oh, my. Clara. Oh, my little heart. Would you like, uh, would you care to, to, uh, I'd Claire doesn't have time for you to figure out the word, Doc. Let's go. Yeah, right. Tannen. Your knife, too. Huh. It's not a firearm, but I agree. I don't trust him. Hey, Frisbee. Far out. Love it. You ain't got but one bullet with that. I only need one. 
It's a pretty good ending line. I only need one. <gasps> I told you to watch your back, It's a day too early. You'll be dead by about supper time Monday. Excuse me, I don't know who you think you are, but we're dancing. That's right, Clara. Right. No, no, Emmett, I'll dance with him, Emmett. Boys, keep the blacksmith's him. company while I get acquainted with the Billy. Yeah. Mm. yeah, shockingly, you don't do better. Maybe I'll just take my $80 worth out of her. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Is everyone else in the town okay with us? I believe you've underestimated me, mister. Why am I now? <laughs> Way more than 80. I damn you! Yeah, Marty! <laughs> Noise. But just leave my friends alone. Wrong, dude! You yell up! It's not even chicken. It's a, it's a different word, Marty. You can let this go. Where did this thing start? Oh, buddy. Calls me yellow. I said we'll finish this tomorrow. Tomorrow we're robbing the Pan City stage. Not anymore, you're not. We'll be back this way on Monday. Settle this then. Right there. Out in the street. Part of the palace alone. Alice got a busy schedule. Any brawling, it's 15 days in the county jail. All right, folks, come on. This is a party. No, seriously, where were you? Took your sweet time. I'd like for you to have this brand new Colt Peacemaker and gun belt. Free of charge. Yeah. If you lose, I'm taking it back. Yeah. You don't want that brand recognition on a loser. Martin McFly? I don't, brother. Martin used to let men provoke him into fighting. He was concerned people would think him a coward if he refused. That's how he got a bowie knife shoved through his belly in a saloon in Virginia City. Wow. Sure, and I hope you're considering the future, Mr. Eastwood. This version of her does not like you. When I was 11, I had diphtheria. I was quarantined for three months. Three months. I read that book too. You you're quoting Jules Verne from the Earth to the Moon. You've read Jules Verne. Of course she has. Met a woman who liked Jules Verne. I, I don't think you've dated much, Doc. Never met a man like you before. <gasps> Scandalous, y'all. The eighteen hundreds. Good morning, Mr. Eastwood. Does it interest you in a new suit for tomorrow? Like a funeral thing? Oh, Doc. Oh, you got pinned. Nothing. I'm just out enjoying the morning air. Yeah, you are. It's really lovely here in the morning. Yeah, it is. My name, it's vanished. Hey, that's great, Doc. Don't you get it? We're going back to the future tomorrow, so everything's being erased. But only my name is erased. Marty's name. Moonstone itself, and the date still remain. That doesn't make sense. Marty's name. I just need to take your measurements. Oh, look, pal, I don't want to buy a suit. It's for the coffin. No, this is for your coffin. My coffin? May not be my name that's supposed to end up on this tombstone. It may be yours. Well, Clint Eastwood's. The tanner comes looking for trouble. I'm going to be ready for him. You heard what that suit caught me last night. Marty, you can't go I Called you a color. And if someone calls you a name, that's exactly what causes you to get into that accident in the future. Yes! Tell us what happens. I need to know, Doc. Come on. You've been teasing this for two movies. What is wrong with my future? We all have to make decisions that affect the course of our lives. You've got to do what you've got to do. I've got to do what I've got to do. What kind of advice is that? Yeah. I've made a decision. I'm not going. I'm going with you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm staying here. With Clara? There's no point in denying it. I'm in love with Clara. Oh, man. Moonstone could still be in your future. The future is in living. Can be changed. You know that. Mm. And let this one little photograph determine my entire destiny. I can live my life doing what I believe is right in my heart. Mm. You're a scientist, so you tell me what's the right thing to do up here. Marty, back off. Let him have happiness. Come on. I'm not gonna understand that, Doc. Hell, I'm in it with you, and I don't even understand it. Yeah, because you're dumb. She's smart. I don't know. Maybe we can just take Clara with us. Future? Yeah. She can see the rocket ships. I wish it didn't have to be this way, but just believe me when I tell you that I'll never forget you. You love you. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Worst breakup ever. From the future. Being here in the time machine that I invented. And tomorrow I have to go back to the year 1985. How do we feel about this? No. I'm partial to the writings of Jules Verne. You concocted those mendacities in order to take advantage of me. Ooh! 
All you had to say is I don't love you and I don't want to see you anymore. That at least would have been respectful. That's not the truth. The truth is a hard thing, Doc. Emmett, are you sure you know what happened to you on the 4th of July? Whiskey. What happened? Hey, I ain't your papa. I thought all you did was serve whiskey, sir. My friend and I have to catch a train. Here's to you, Black Bill. <laughs> and to the future. Amen. Amen. No! Lightweight. How many do you have? Just the one. Just the one? Come on, Doc. There's a fella that can't hold his liquor. Marty's like, come on, you're embarrassing me. San Francisco is the end of the line. You're just not going to teach in this town anymore? Make some wake up juice. Oh my. Making a Bloody Mary? Stone Sunday. Why do we have to cut these things so damn close? Keep a clothespin on his nose. It's good storytelling, Marty. It's very viscous. Man, that was just a reflex action. Oh my gosh, the the train's going into the ravine. Oh no, is it still gonna be Clara's ravine? No! I know it's not- no, they're not gonna do that. That would be such a bummer. Phase one! It's eight o'clock! Oh. And I'm calling you out! You got five minutes. Come on, Marty, make a choice. Come on, sober up, buddy. Let's go. Come on. You better get out there, son. I got $20 gold bet on you, so don't let me down. That was a poor life choice, sir. They ever were. We'll say Clint Eastwood is the biggest yellow belly in the West. Man, Clint's never gonna find a show his face in Hollywood again. Here. That was funny. He has a gun on, it wasn't because he doesn't have a gun. I don't care what Tannen says, and I don't care what anybody else says either. Yeah, Marty. <laughs> Proud of you. Listen, you got a back door to this place? Yeah, it's in the back. <laughs> Are you coming out here? Oh, that was great delivery. Yes, sir. That poor fella last night had the worst case of broken heart when he said he didn't know how he could live the rest of his life. What an odd conversation to be having with a stranger on a train. Sit up, Eastwood. I have to shoot somebody today, and I'd prefer it be you. Where is the marshal? You got one minute to decide. Say her name was Kara, Sarah, Clara. Clara. You weren't there. But was this man tall with... Great big brown puppy dog eyes and long silvery flowing hair. You know him. Is that how trains work? I don't think that's how trains work. Is that how trains work? Is it like a bus? Ooh. Statement. If Hamilton had done that, it would have gone better. I thought we could settle this like men. You thought wrong. It's a good discussion. <laughs> Dang! Oh, he's got the thing in his chest from the, from the stove, right? Kick him in the shin. Nice. Yeah. Oh, he'd be dead. Yes. <laughs> what a good callback. That was good. <laughs> that was good. I think Buford's going to jail. <laughs> nice of you to show up, Marshall. Taking your time. Worth twelve dollars, never been used. Maybe I'll trade it for a new hat. Huh? Take care of that baby. <laughs> I will. Aw. That was very wholesome. I like that. Okay, anxiety over. We're good. <laughs> it's labeled. <sighs> Come on, horsey. Noise. Forget the hat. She can ride, man. You need to unhook this part. Like, there are people on the train. That trade robberies happened. It's a science experiment. Stop the 
It's a science experiment. Couple of cars for the tender. <laughs> nice. Okay. What are these things anyway? My own version of pestilox. Less food with anthracite dust chemically treated to burn harder and longer. I use them in my pores so I don't have to stoke it. Sure. Hopefully we'll hit 88 miles per hour before the needle gets much past 2,000. Yeah, hopefully. Casual. These poor horses. <laughs> and she's doing it all in this dress in a corset. Ooh! These are third degree burns, baby. I feel like this is what they should have been practicing instead of making the model. I know there's no way to really practice this, but I, I don't know. Run some drills. Oh, the smile. A lot, Marty. A lot. I, if they kill Claire, I swear, I swear y'all, I will lose it. Claire, you just climbed over this entire, like, train thing with wood. Yeah, you got this. <gasps> oh. No, 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 no. Ah. Come on, give me the happy ending. <laughs> Aww, if it's not Evan and Clara, I don't want it. Bye, Marty. It's gonna be like flaming train ravine or something. Yeah, that caused a lot of damage. You Squid Ravine. Ha! Wow. Oh no. Marty, get out of the freaking car! Wow, they really went for it with that destruction. Aww. The end of an era. Eras, both future, past. What? Yeah, please go check on Jennifer, dear lord. Been at 40. I, I didn't mean to scare you. I, I didn't recognize you in those clothes. What the I, hell are you doing? Uh, just putting on the second coat now. <laughs> You're in your suede jacket, honey. What's wrong? We thought you went to the lake. You wore that to the lake? Huh? You guys are all back to normal. Hey, Marty, who are you supposed to be? Clint Eastwood? <laughs> right. I gotta go get Jennifer. Yeah, you do. Marty. I had the worst nightmare. Oh, babe. You have no idea. She had a dream about her 40-year-old self. It's about the future. About us. And you got fired. Walk away, Marty. I love that we're bringing back the song. Chicken? Marty, what did we learn? Marty? No. He learned better. He learned better. Nice. Yeah, you think I'm stupid enough to race at it? I would have hit that Rolls Royce. 
She took a souvenir. Jennifer, you're smart. I like you. They should have put you in more stuff. <laughs> what the hell? Yes! <laughs> Come on. Bring out Doc and Clara. Come on. I am just thrilled. Ah! These are our boys. Jules. Burn. Boys, this is Marty and Jennifer. We got a dog! Great, Doc. I got this note back from the future, and now it's a race. Of course it's a race! You can always change the future. Your future hasn't been written yet. No one's had. Your future is whatever you make. So make it a good one. Both of you. So make it a good one. What a wholesome ending. about this oh my gosh <laughs> I am just thrilled my heart is very full right now my heart is very full what a lovely lovely trilogy yeah totally lives up to the hype uh completely completely understand why this is the way it is for people oh this made me so so happy I hope y'all enjoyed watching along thank you for putting up with me and all of my reactions Oh, I'd love to watch more movies with y'all, especially uh, sequels, especially trilogies. Now I'm kind of just like in this zone, right? So definitely let us know in the comments what you would like for us to watch in general on the channel, what you would like me to watch for you next. Um, if you haven't yet, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And I don't, y'all, it's gonna be so hard to beat this trilogy. I don't know if you can beat it, but we can definitely try. So definitely let us know. Thanks for watching. I will definitely catch y'all back in the future.